Hey, what's up, tubers? It's Tony, and I'm at the junkyard today. I'm going to make a video to show you how to remove and replace the alternator on a 2008 Denali. The reason why I'm making this video is for one of my female friends who does not live in the state. Her alternator died on her, and she took the car to a local mechanic who told her that he wanted $950 to replace the alternator. She contacted me to see if that was correct, and of course, we know that that's a false statement. He was just trying to rip her off. Her alternator died for whatever reason. Um, so I'm making this video for her and all of the women out there who want to be more involved in replacing simple things like their alternators, um, etc. so that they know that they are not getting ripped off. Guys, you should already know this stuff for the most part, and if you don't, you should be learning it. So again, this video is being made for all the women out there that want to replace um, their alternators. And it's pretty much the same on every car. Some alternators are in a tighter spot and others are easily accessible. On this Denali at the junkyard, you probably would have some sort of cover that sets there. All you have to do is just look for any type of retaining clips, screws, or sometimes they just pop off, okay? But anyway, before you start working on such a task like replacing the alternator, you always want to disconnect the black cable from your battery. This will keep you from potentially shorting out any fuses or doing harmful damage to your vehicle's computer. So once you disconnect the black cable from the battery, tools you'll need. You will need a 3 8 ratchet, 15 millimeter socket. You will need one of these pry bar sets from Harbor Freight. They come in a pack of four made by Pittsburgh. A rubber hammer comes in handy to strike the alternator without doing damage like you would do with a regular hammer. And you'll need like a 17 or 18 millimeter deep socket and a long driver for leverage. Before you go to remove a drive belt guys off of any vehicle if you're not familiar with how drive belts are routed before you remove it make yourself a video or take a picture of how that belt is routed through each and every pulley oftentimes folks will go to replace an alternator or the drive belt all to find that they have an excessive amount of belt left in their hands with no place to put it don't panic guys that just simply means you missed the routing of a pulley somewhere the routing for your pulley or serpentine belt should be listed in your owner's manual somewhere or you can find it online or contact the dealer okay but always make a video or snap a picture of how that belt is routed everywhere so that you can safely put it back I'm facing the windshield there's the alternator Come to the left, come to the left, and down in that hole, you're going to see the pulley, okay? The belt tensioner pulley, okay? That's where you're going to take this socket and ratchet and place it over that bolt right there. It's sunny here at the junkyard today, so see how I have that set up? So oftentimes when you get this part set up, you're going to crank your ratchet towards the driver's side of the engine and that will take tension off of the belt and then you want to slowly slip the belt off of this pulley right here alternator this pulley is what you want to slip the belt off of sometimes when you go to crank this this can be difficult and hard so what I do guys is I take the 18 millimeter socket and a long driver Put over the arm of the ratchet. I want you to see all of that. Come on. Okay, just like that. And when I crank this towards the driver's side of the engine, watch the belt get loose. So now you can slide the belt off of that pulley right there. The next thing you're going to do is remove these two 15 millimeter bolts. You have a 13 millimeter nut right here that holds this battery lead on, okay? And then you have an electrical connector back here, which you're gonna take off last. 
guys don't be able to don't be afraid to use this method here okay so that you can break this stuff loose if it's hard especially for you ladies okay always remember extra socket over the ratchet um, driver for leverage once you break those two 15 millimeter bolts loose the next thing you want to do is pry the alternator out of its housing sometimes guys these alternators can really be in there that's why you're going to need your pry set from harbor freight made by pittsburgh and what i want you to do is be mindful of the electrical connector back here come in right around here and start to pry the alternator out of its housing okay and then eventually you can go ahead and disconnect the electrical connector over here once it's free because you don't want to damage it just pull up on this little tab right there and then you can pull the electrical connector away once you disconnect the battery lead you can go ahead and pull the alternator out of its housing and there you go now this won't come out exactly as easy as i took it out i promise you but that's why you're going to need to have a pry bar set on hand along with a rubber hammer okay when you get your new alternator your new alternator and your old alternator should be identical okay double check and then everything goes back together in the reverse order that you use to take it apart so if you're not savvy with this type of stuff guys just make a video as you go along and then if you have any questions you can always refer back to your video and or pictures you take again remember you may have some sort of protective cover on this side that you may have to remove it's fairly easy for the most part so again with your new alternator in hand take your electrical connector and remember to get it loose pull that tab up you can pull this up and out but anyway with your new alternator in hand make sure you connect your electrical connector make sure that that is in there and then you can go ahead and set your alternator back into its housing sort of like so and this won't just go in there guys so you will have to take your rubber hammer make sure it's sitting in there evenly Take your rubber hammer, guys, and go ahead and knock that in. And I'm really aiming for this hole to line up so that I can start one bolt. Once you start this bolt, that bolt back there will line up. Go ahead with your rubber hammer. Take your time. I'm going to check and see if that bolt has lined up. If the bolt has not lined up, take your pry bar and raise the alternator up a little bit until you get it started guys okay that's what your pry bar set is for okay i need both hands so hold tight so there you go now that i have this bolt started the other bolt back here should automatically line up for the most part and again if you need to raise the alternator up and down a little bit Remember, take your pry bar set and go back here in the corner and raise the alternator as needed so that you can get that bolt started. Okay, guys, with the two 15 millimeter um, bolts back in, ladies, again, if you need leverage, remember this method here so that you can help yourself or keep yourself from killing yourself when you need to break these loose and tighten these. When you tighten these, just tighten them until they're nice and snug. Once you start feeling resistance, back off. I told you to put your electrical connector in first before you put the alternator back in so that you don't damage it back here. Hook up the battery lead right here. Somebody already removed the nut from this, guys. It's a 13 millimeter nut or a 10 millimeter nut, I believe. Make sure this is on nice and tight. Very important to have this stuff hooked up. This battery lead and the electrical connector. Those two bolts must be nice and tight. And then all you have to do is put the belt back on, guys, and you're done. Reconnect the battery and you should be able to start your vehicle up and let it run for a few minutes. If you had a dead battery because your alternator was not charging the battery, you want to let the car run. If it starts up, let the car run for about 
good five minutes or so turn on everything power high beams etc in your vehicle that causes the alternator to replenish the power lost in the battery um, at one particular point in time again when you put the belt on put the belt around all the pulleys except for this one double check in the end and make sure that the belt is sitting every place that it needs to sit okay or you will destroy the belt so if the belt is sitting come on come off of there if it's sitting on there like this that's wrong okay it must be sitting on the pulley correctly okay so see how I have the belt sitting everywhere on each pulley like it's supposed to and then you want to come down even that pulley back there I don't know if you can see it the belt is not sitting correctly come on camera zoom so you want to make sure the belt is sitting on each pulley correctly okay now you can go ahead crank this towards the driver's side and then slip this part of the belt down underneath this pulley and then release it and this should get tight and then go back and adjust this pulley as needed to make sure the belt is sitting okay correctly okay ladies and gentlemen the belt is back on again make sure your electrical connector is connected make sure your battery lead is bolted down with its retainer nut go around to a dummy check make sure that belt is sitting on the pulleys correctly everywhere that it's supposed to sit okay get a bright flashlight go around and look make sure that belt is sitting everywhere it's supposed to be sitting and then all you have to do guys is just start up your um or hook up your battery and then you can start the vehicle up and you're good to go um i hope my good buddy will be able to um, remove and install her alternator herself this is pretty easy jill just take your time and you will get this done it's fairly easy for the most part and definitely is not worth whatever the mechanic was trying to rip you off for so i hope this helps other ladies out there or other women out there that want to do these type of jobs themselves thanks for watching guys alternator replacement 2008 denali and for many of you guys, gentlemen, who are afraid to work on cars, go to the junkyard, okay? Pick a car, take something apart, remove an alternator, remove a starter. You can't mess up anything, and then you will have gained some experience on how to do these things yourself. Take care, folks. Catch you next time.